said an advocacy day in Washington, D.C. Yes. I assume you've done others. Um, yes. Tell me about your experiences on Capitol Hill. What do you like about meeting the staff and representatives? What do you dislike about federal advocacy? And do you think this is effective to go down Capitol Hill? I do. I think it. I think it's effective. It's, a, it's certainly a learning curve. So, um, part of it over time is um, not feeling incompetent or ignorant, and learning to have confidence in what you know. At the same time, um, being willing to learn about how things operate, and uh, depending on the people you interact with, there's a different kind of sensibility and understanding for that. You know, um, tolerance is probably not the right word, but they're, they're probably on one extreme, you feel tolerated. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe even uh, a little bit talked down to, right? That, uh, who are you and did you do your homework? And, um, so I think over time, though, we, we've learned to be better, understand the power of our own stories. But also, I think finding that sweet spot, the intersection between the things I, I'm supposed to know something about, like the teaching of English and the workings of Washington, D.C. So over time, you learn more about the latter. Mm -hmm. Right, you never forget the former because it's who you are. So I think after four or five of them, I began to prepare myself better, um, to have a greater uh, sense of kind of personal worth mm -hmm. in that space, mm -hmm. and a, a greater conviction and entitlement that uh, we are um, quite technically your employers, and uh, in the democratic process, we need to be listened to. We are a mighty organization, and uh, we have not only ideas, but uh, we, we have living proof of the power of our convictions. And when you bring that into that space, I think that uh, it's a more enjoyable experience. It's got to be nerve-wracking. You're a little bit out of your element. You know, we're like fish out of water when you're not in the classroom, not with students, or not with your nose in a book, or <laughs> at the laptop, you know, so it's, it's, it's going to feel a little bit like, you know, writing with your off hand, right, or mm -hmm. uh, singing in a different key. So I wouldn't say it's completely comfortable, but um, I know that it's something that we need to do, right? I tell my students they have to speak the truth to power. If I'm going to ask a 15-year-old to do that, then someone three times their age, I, I need to have the courage to do that as well.